So here, hold me. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a three dollar umbrella for the hat. Those are bandanas. How much are they? Those are $2. That's what I got in my head. Okay, give me one of those. Yeah. You want to have any out on this? Bracing it? You want to brace it? No, I have bracelets. There you go. That's what is it. that red thing? Those are shirts. Oh, oh girl. How much are they? $3. Yeah. Oh, they're girls and their shirts. What, what size? They got sizes inside. Now hold this money for me. That's large. Large? For a woman or a girl? For a woman or a girl, it stretches. It stretches, you see? Oh, okay. How much is that? Three dollars. Okay, so I'll take one of those. And so I have that. There's a bandana. Now, you want that in the bandana? Is there one? You got one bandana? What about this one? We have a weird t-shirt. That's the white. And you got the white, different, and, and the red. See? You don't have anything for men? No men? No, no men. We ran out. Okay, so how much does that come to? Okay, you got three, six, seven, eight dollars. That's all. Did you put my money away? Dami chavo, po po po. This guy is good. Let me see how does the umbrella is it goes. This is great. I'm gonna show you how. Yeah. I'm gonna open this one. I'm gonna show you. Okay. When you open it, this guy. Film this. Film this. Listen, it's got this. Thing. Oh, sorry, the water. Ay! It's got this thing inside. You see? Yeah. Like here, yeah, pop up. Then you open this here. I will put it on my head. Put it on my head so and I can... Put it in your head. Put it on my head so he, he has the camera well, okay, going. Okay, I got to do this on the other okay. side of the window. That's going to cost you extra. Uh, sure, he may have trying to pack up and get home. He's had a hard, busy day. Yeah. Ah, hold on. Yeah. Hmm? You put it down... Oh! Wow, that's great! No, don't make me think because sometimes I think I put them on and I'm going to fall from up there, so... <laughs> Good. Good. Are you Puerto Rican? Yes, I am. Oh, good. 100%. Are you Puerto Rican? No, she's not. She's a brand of mine. She's with them, but she's sitting on my oh, chest. Oh, good. Resting good. On. I like, I, I like people but today, are... everybody's Puerto Rican because the other day it was so a Jewish like parade Irish. and we were all Jewish. Yeah. When the Irish come, we are Irish. So we New York is always share with and, everybody. And you, That's you the thing about it. You like your license because there were guys over there selling out of like a case of clothes off the water. They don't have licenses. I know they don't. They and get arrested. To, and they have to hospital arrest them and, and take good? all their stuff, right? Yeah. You're yes. legitimate. Good. Yeah. Okay, so give me a, a. I have one. I have one on my head. So if I take one more, how much would it be? Uh, I'll give it three, two for five. Take two for five. We'll, okay. we'll make it five, uh, five, eight. Ten, ten dollars. Okay, fine. So here, put the, uh, let me, I'll give you the money, I'll give you the, I can get the my wallet out. Let me just hold, okay. I love a bargain. Yeah. Oh, great. Here, put this stuff in here. Gracias, he, he's filming, so. Look at Wicker's hard-earned money. She say pretty. Five. Where did I hurt that? Do you, oh, do, you, do, you do good money today? Oh, got it clear. Did you make good money today? Huh? I mean, did you make good money on a day like this? There's well, so many today it's selling. been a slow day. And two dollars. Everybody says that the rain is very... slow, everything is slow. But it's the economy. We can't blame it on anybody. A lot of people don't have jobs or work. There you go. Frank, they, 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 I think it's still a nice because they are Lucky this is America, there's my friend. Nice. Watch your money. <laughs> Tell me. That's Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. I know. Every piece of paper I see one on the ground, I think it's my money. Uh, I mean, I had heard such awful things about the parades that those boys were left at those girls, and I was so ashamed. I didn't come for years because I thought, oh, they all get drunk and rally how the Irish are, and I'm, ha I'm mainly Irish. You Irish? And, yeah, and the Irish well, welcome get to the drunk, club. My best friend in the Marines was Irish. Me and him spent Pentagill. We used to go out yeah. drinking. He was a sergeant, I was a sergeant. We get, and you can never out drink an Irish. You could try. But you cannot. I drink an Irish. No disrespect you to think the Irish so? people. No. 
listen, he, I had a he taught me how to drink the Guinness, the Guinness beer, the, the black beer. Yeah. Forget about it. You know, me out. you know, I had a woman that didn't want me to be a sperm donor for her baby. She was a single woman that wanted a baby because I was, I, I'm 50% Irish. And I'm mainly in this boat set I am. And she uh -huh. was afraid that I would have a drink with the genes for alcoholism. In those days, I was drinking just eight or 10 ounces a night. But you know, I was drinking too much. Now I just totally abstain because I'm 77. And I've gotten everybody else dropped dead or has a disease. I'm still going. But That's I hope good. you do well. What, what, do you Thank do you. every parade? Well, I try. But I you're a licensed vendor, so you get one of these licenses. Right. And, and what does that allow you to do? It tells you where Not you Not much, sell. because uh, in reality, there's a big issue with this problem. But the city council creates certain laws. Okay. Yeah. That allows uh, veterans, disabled veterans, to sell in the street. Oh. But then they don't notify. Thank you for your service. I saw, I saw a guy wearing a World War II. You know, was a Marine always wearing? He That's left. it. He That's left. it. I gave it probably. He was obviously 85, 90 years old. He yes. was obviously yes. World War II. And I said, thank you for your service. And you know what he said to me? He said, thank you for thanking me. Because I don't think anybody had thanked him for his service thank you for, for thank years you. and years. That's it. You see what happens some of the Vietnam era veterans? Oh. They will they not really screw them. Yes, thank you. Because people spat on them, they weren't appreciated, and they went through hell. I was the worst. I was in the first war against the war. Yeah, yeah. yes. I watched the first piece of You gotta remember, the people don't realize, the conscious don't realize that some of these guys were forced. If they didn't go to uh, to enlist, they would have gone to jail. So they were actually forced to go to war. I know. And then they come back home, and guess what they get? I have a friend who was a Jehovah's Witness. Who, to his mother and all that, they told him, you're burning in hell. Don't be too far away to get this, Michael. He burned in hell if he went and killed people in Vietnam. And believe it or not, he decided if he was going to take out a gun, he was going to use it against the system that was trying to make him go and kill other people. And he robbed banks and ended up being a career bank robber. It happens. It happens. But if, if, of all things, it was religious objection to the war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. He said, if I'm going to prison for five years, I might as well do something, you know. Radical. Uh, that, and he, he got away with some of them. He told me about robberies he committed, all because he didn't want to go kill people for the U.S. government. That's and, right. You know, and I understand why people... Would but you remember that. the President uh, Clinton took off for Canada, head of Fort Canada, right? Yes, yes. So that goes to show you. Some well, of listen, us... Listen, those people paid a price, too. Yes. Because they lost their citizenship. They were refugees. A lot of people go to sleep today. I'm gonna put my arm around this special. A lot of people go to sleep today because of veterans. Okay. We really all go veterans. to sleep today. We all. They could are close in. their eyes at night. They could kiss their children because the liberty that was brought up by the force, unforced. I say one thing: the country that forgets its warriors one day indeed will be forgotten itself. So. Right. Let's see if America Don't comes up the with it. Don't forget the policemen too. Because the, yes. the cops are the. Are the yeah. The the, uh, That's right. The warriors of the street for that right. people. Here, here. So this has been Randy Wicker doing the patriotic thing. Oh. And uh, you want to talk? You have to be going in. Okay. Yes. You want to be in the camera? The you? Oh, uh, yeah. and who are you? What are you? Sam? Hot dog? Yeah, yeah. Hot dog. And hot dog. Oh, where are you from? Egypt. Oh, I went to Egypt. It's wonderful. Egypt is fabulous. And. And when he was, Cairo was so packed, you, you couldn't walk down the streets without bumping into people. No, 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 no bumping. No bumping. But, but it knows this goes back to 1980 or 90. Oh, it was long time. No, but it was. No, just they couldn't too many people and there was not enough sidewalk. But people would say, they'd say, well, what are you doing? And the Egyptian then hit me by the hand and lead me to where I was going to go. Even though he couldn't speak English, he'd point yeah. me in the direction. And you, know, and you know what they told me in the little villages? Come over here closer. Get us close. In the little village, villages close to the Nile, I thought, oh, if I said Israel, Palestine, they would all go crazy. The women, everyone said, it's good that we have peace because now our sons don't have to go out and fight. So the people are always for peace, and it's a damn politicians and, and idiots running but the country. But now it's different too much. I know. So yeah. now now with a lot of peace, everybody's safe, not, not like before. You know? I know, I know. It's, I, I feel so sorry because there's so little, yeah. there's, there's such poverty we don't know in this country. And where are you from, sir? I'm, I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey. Oh. But I'm born American. But I've traveled to Egypt, 
travel all through Asia. I travel all through Turkey. You know, I've, I've done more. The friend I used to travel with this folks, that language is dying. Uh, uh, Egypt, I found Egypt was a wonderful place, you know, and it's uh, at least it's, you know, if the crazies take over the country, they won't be able to tear down the pyramids, I'll bet you that. I, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I, I really hope we get there. Nice to see you. You'll be able to. Your country is as free and as, as wealthy, Thirty as, seconds. as wealthy as we are here in the United States of America. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.